Kia ora team, welcome back to another video. I'm Daniel and I hope that you fellas are having a good day, dressing well and of course getting stuff done. Now today guys, we are going to be looking at how to style the puffer jackets, puffer jackets 101 and just everything that's just... Puffy. Now before we get into this video, I just want to show a massive appreciation to all of you uh, for the last video, for the lookbook, the support, the comments, everything about it was so overwhelming uh, and it was just awesome to see that you guys really messed with it. So huge shout out to all of you. Now back to the puffer jackets. Obviously we know the temperature has been dropping, unless uh, for you fellas who are in like the southern hemisphere and stuff like that, uh, you know, like New Zealand, Australia, things like that. But for everybody else, the temperature is dropping, which means that it's time to layer up a lot more, get the warm clothing. Now, puffer jackets are a very good staple timeless piece to have in your wardrobe. And to be fair, with all the retailers who do sell them, there's not too much difference in them as far as like the shapes and things like that are concerned. The kind of only differences among uh, the different retailers are kind of the quality and stuff that goes into them. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that. And then we're gonna look at three different ways to style three different puffer jackets. So the price range of puffer jackets can roughly go from anywhere from about 60 pounds on the lower end all the way up to you know 250 300 700 when you're getting more looking at north face canada goose and things like that a few stores i would suggest if you are looking at getting a puffer jacket so more on the lower price point range so about 60 pounds you can look at zara asos and uniqlo out of all of those typically i would say uniqlo is going to be the best bang for buck now if you're coming a bit more to your mid-range so anywhere between let's say 100 and 200 pounds i would recommend you to look at cos and arcade then if you're going a little bit you know into the more higher range is when you can start to look at you know the heavyweight ones from like North Face or any other retailer that really do kind of like cater to the outdoors and adventure kind of like lifestyle. So pretty much what a puffer jacket is, and they also do go by the name quilted jackets as well. Pretty much they have a signature quilted design with sections that are puffy between the stitching. They're typically filled with down insulation or synthetic fibers. Now both of these can provide high levels of warmth depending on how well they are made and the quality of the synthetic fibers. Now both of those options are fairly lightweight, but not all of those methods of insulation will actually provide the same level of warmth. So typically speaking, a down filled jacket will be warmer, yet a synthetic down can be very comparable if the manufacturer knows a good bit about how insulation works so personally i would recommend you going for the traditional uh down jacket so the materials that are typically used are polyester duck down and duck feathers so the three puffer jackets that i have here today are all slightly different the first one that we have is this beautiful kind of like light gray almost a brownie beige colorway now the reason I picked this one up was purely because of the colorway. This one is from Cold Laundry and it's like one of their ones that they're known for. Now this costed me 150 pounds and what I found I was paying for was definitely kind of like the colorway. Now don't get me wrong, this definitely keeps you warm, but it's a lot more of what I would call an autumn puffer jacket. When it comes into winter time, you will need to layer this one. Now what's great about this is pretty much the fit of it. So you've got the really nice chunky neckline. It's more of that boxy fit and it's very on trend right now. Then we come on to this bad boy now a lot of you probably have seen this one before i've had this one for about two years this one's actually from asos and this costed me 60 pounds it is a similar shape to the cold laundry one however the length of it is a little bit longer now this one 60 pounds but oh my god this one is the most heavyweight one out of all of them this one is truly like being wrapped up in a sleeping bag and again only 60 pounds then we come into a recent one uh, this one is from Arket. They did gift this one to me. This is a bit more of a classic fit one. Definitely still a lightweight one, very similar to the cold laundry one. This one, the key difference is the hood and it is a nice little effect, especially if it's getting cold, chuck the hood up. The thing that's pretty sick about this one and kind of what Arket does is the fact that the materials used within this uh, with the down feathers and everything like that are 100% recycled. So they haven't used any new ones. It's 100% recycled. It's it's so sick because Arket is really trying to take steps forward with using a lot more recyclable material. And this one does come in at 179 pounds. So this is the most expensive one of them all. And personally, if I was going to rank them, this is just going on quality and warmth and everything like that, not how they visually look. It literally would go the ASOS one, the Arket one, and then the cold laundry one, just as far as warmth and everything is concerned. Now the three looks that we're gonna be going from, it's gonna start from like super, super cozy, like just mad cozy vibes, coming in the middle of a little bit more kind of like streetwear, just daily functional wear. And then the third is coming on to a little bit more of a smarter, a bit more dressed up vibe. So with all that talking out of the way, let's get into outfit number one.
All right, guys, coming into the first outfit, and this is the super cozy, just snug outfit absolutely just for those like cozy vibe days so what we do have on the bottoms to keep it nice and warm is the cold buxton sweatpants the white socks and of course the timeless air force ones then when we come on back to the top we have the cold buxton hoodie with just a nice simple white t-shirt underneath and then of course the asos puffer jacket now remember this is the heavyweight one this is the one that i said feels like you're just in a sleeping bag this outfit's definitely for the day that you just want to feel hella cozy and the whole aesthetic of the outfit does have a slight athleisure feel to it Outfit number two, guys, is really focusing a lot more on that streetwear vibe and that kind of everyday outfit. Now, this is a very, very tonal look. And here I'm rocking the cold laundry puffer with a cold laundry sweatshirt underneath, a white t shirt, a source fisherman's beanie, and then I have this beautiful Doc Martin crossbody bag. Then, when we come on down, the pants that I have are actually a thrifted pair, but you'll be seeing more of these in an upcoming video. And then I have the Balenciaga tracks on foot just to finish off the tonal vibe. If I had to name this outfit, it would definitely be called NC Hell Gallery. Then we come into the third and final look. And this one, as you can already tell, is a lot smarter. Once again, the ASOS Fisherman's Beanie on top, then the black turtleneck underneath, which I feel is definitely one of the main factors that really elevates this outfit. Then of course, we have the Arket puffer jacket on, which is in kind of like a khaki green. Then when we come on down, I have these All Saints cropped pants and then the Balenciaga boots on foot. Overall, I think this is my favorite outfit because I do like how smart it looks. And then of course, we have the hoodie just to add in the extra cool factors. So apologies for how bright this is. This is like the hottest day to film this one on. It's been cold and miserable and then today when I have to do a puffer jacket thing, it comes out sunny so I get to sweat my nuts. So let's go back inside and I need a cold shower or something, eh? So there we have it, guys. Those are the three ways that I personally like to style the puffer jacket. Everywhere from super cozy to a bit more smart streetwear. Do let me know in the comment section down below which was your favorite look, along with, out of the three of these, which was your favorite puffer jacket. Other than that, guys, I will leave a link to all of these puffer jackets in the description box down below, along with everything else that was worn. Enjoy the rest of your day. Keep dressing well, and I'll see you fellas next time. Peace.